Hello, uh, today as you can see we will see how to create this happy valentine text effect using Adobe Photoshop so let's get to it alright so first of all uh, the text that uh, I'm gonna be using is this one in here it's called uh, Arizona font I will put a link in the description below so you can download it if you want to use it too and I will also put uh, put the uh, the style for this uh, text effect that we're gonna do today so, okay so just go to find new and I will just keep it in this uh, wallpaper measures. Oh, it's okay. Now uh, we, uh, we're gonna make a uh, background. So I will just use pattern. We go to this icon in here, and I will choose pattern. And then I will choose this one in here. I will put a link that uh, contain all the, the file that I will be used in this tutorial so you can download that I will press ok now I will double click and I will choose a gradient overlay I, I will keep it in this black and white gradient and I will choose reverse and then I choose a radio I will put the scaling to 115 and the angle I will put to 30 then uh, the opacity I will make it 50 or 12 percent now I will go to text and will type uh, one time it's bigger and then I will try to make uh, text effects in this one time so I will just double click so I can open the last side dialog and the first thing I'm gonna do is the pivot and emboss so I will change uh, the style to stroke emboss and the technique to, to uh, uh, she's the hard and the depth I will make it uh, 1000 and the direction down the size I will put 10 pixel and I will uncheck use global light and we'll put in the angle 90 with attitude of 60 and then uh, I will change this to this one in here it's called ring double double in here and uh, for the highlight mode I will choose color dodge with 75% and the shadow mode I will choose linear burn in here with the opacity of 40 percent now uh, in the contour I would change it to this one in here it's called rolling slope in here and uh, I would go to stroke and I uh, will keep everything in here the same but uh, instead of uh, filling type with color I will choose gradient so uh, I will make uh, the angle 19 and I will change this uh, gradient color in here so I will put these colors 0, 0, F, 66 uh, that's a pink color and then uh, I will choose another pink color FF4B9C which is ok and there another one in here soft pink F9DCE3 and this one I will keep it white like so and then press ok 
Now I would go to Inner Shadow. We'll change the blend mode to Color Dodge. And uh, I will change the black to white. Then I uh, will make 70%. And uh, I will check to use global white and I will put 90 in goal with 2 pixel distance and 1 pixel size. Now uh, I will go to inner glow and I will change the blending mode to linear burn. the color I will make it black so and the opacity will make it 20% and uh, for the size I will choose, choose 50 pixel and now I will go to satin in here I will make the blending mode to multiply Sorry to overlay and the color to white. So we'll keep the angle 19, but the distance I will change it to 3 pixel and the size to 0. Now I will go to color overlay and I will change it to a gray. So we'll choose 5, 5e, 5e, 5e like so and I will reduce the opacity to 50 now I will make it 100 but I will change the blending mode to soft light like so now uh, I will go to the gradient overlay and I will change the blending mode to vivid light and uh, for the opacity I will make it 50% and I will make this gradient color in here make one in here and another one in here like so now I will change the color F8 A8 to 1 and this one in here I will change it to D to 9 A to 7 and this one in here will be if a f to a b and the last one b b one seven f to eight like so on the this okay now I will make the scale to one hundred and fifty and the angle I will keep it ninety percent I will go to the pattern overlay I will make the scale to 5% and I will choose this pink pattern in here and then the last one to be a drop shadow we need some shadow in here I will keep the blending mode to match today and I will make the opacity 85% and we can check use global light and we choose 90 and go with 10 pixel distance and 30 percent spread and 10 pixel size and I will press ok that I have my uh, Valentine text effect now I can just double it like so and so there I have it so I will put a link in the description below where you can find this uh, ASL file for the site that you can install and use it whenever you want so I hope this tutorial was a little bit helpful for you Happy Valentine everyone and have a nice day.